This morning, we want to welcome Chef James Wright from the Beetroot Catering Company from up there in Mountain City, right here to our daytime kitchen. A little bit of an adventure getting over here today. The road is yeah. kind of icy in places, yeah. but you made it, and I appreciate it. And now we appreciate you having us. Absolutely. Let's talk, first of all, you know, we were over at the Beetroot. We featured them on one of our Driving with Daytime segments this summer uh -huh. over the, when we were over in Johnson County. Yeah. We had lunch there, had some breakfast there the next day. Fantastic food. I have to give awesome. you kudos on your awesome. menu. Awesome. No, yeah. I appreciate it. Well, yeah. I have to I have to give the farmers kudos because right. uh, uh, the you know the uh, the ingredients that are coming out of Johnson County is just nothing short than ama uh, uh, amazing. I've got a couple featured on right. the uh, front here, but. Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, it's the ingredients that is where it starts. <laughs> and you love using, utilizing those local farmers, those local producers. Oh, totally. That's how we. That's how I design my menu. Is right. so anything and everything, pretty much everything, is uh, interchangeable. So uh, uh, this uh, beer cheese soup that we were going to go over is a right. basic recipe. But uh, we can add broccoli, we can add uh, cabbage, we could do a mushroom beer cheese. Customize it any way you like. Exactly. So that allows the farmers to, uh, you know, if they didn't sell something one week or they overgrew something one week, it right. really uh, allows them to uh, function with us. And you love it when you get those, when you find out what local farmers and those local producers have to offer you, and you change your menu accordingly throughout oh, yeah. the year. Yeah, yeah, mostly uh, uh, four, probably four times a year, uh, yeah. uh, big changes, but it's yeah. changing uh, weekly. Uh, daily sometimes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That keeps you on your toes, though, oh, in the definitely. kitchen? Absolutely. <laughs> most definitely. Well, let's get started on this beer cheese soup. What okay. do we got going on here? All right. Well, uh, over here, I've got uh, bacon fat. You've okay. always got to start off with bacon fat. All right. And if you don't save your bacon fat, I highly recommend uh, you do. Every good cook I know saves their bacon fat. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and saute the onions off. Okay. Whoa. There you go. Just let get that it going go a there. Little bit. Hey folks, I'm going to tell you something. He's been, he's been doing some cooking in here already. It smells amazing in here. It really does. And you want to get those. How long do you saute, saute those onions for? Well, I like to get them translucent, so I'm right. sweating them. Right. Uh, almost to start off with a hot pan, but then you turn it down low, and then and just, just kind of let it just kind of Let, let it, it do its thing. Let yeah. it do its uh, thing. The, the art of the no-touch. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I think like that's hard it. for folks when they're actually doing cooking, is yeah. sometimes just leaving things alone and letting them do their thing. You, you have to let it cook. It's yep. like when you're grilling. you got to leave it alone <laughs> sometimes. Exactly. Just let it do its thing. Exactly, Chris. But this, this is a great recipe. Let's talk about your background a little bit. Tell me about your background as a chef. Uh, well, I mean, I went to uh, uh, AB Tech in Asheville, North Carolina, graduated right. in 2009, and then after that, I was fortunate enough to get uh, uh, a job with a, uh, a company called Discovery Land, okay. um, which uh, they cater to high end, like the top one percent of the country. So I was out in Montana, to Bahamas, you know, working the right. club life and all that. Uh, so it gave me a lot of experience in um, in different cuisines and stuff like that. I started so. to say you pick up a little something here from there exactly. all over the country. Exactly. Then when, when my wife and I just uh, found out we were having a baby, we decided to put the brakes on right, the traveling right. and then bring it back to our hometown. We talked to her about that this summer. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you all love Johnson County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're born born and raised there, so yeah. uh, home is home. <laughs> yeah. You love being home. Most so definitely. Right, so we got the we got the onions going. What's going to be our next step? Uh, after that, uh, we're going to add a bit of butter. Okay. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, not at all. <laughs> and, and real butter. Oh, real butter. Yeah. Uh, European. Okay. Very I, like, good. I, I like using a brand called Palugra. Okay. And you, I was watching you in your kitchen up there at the beetroot uh, this summer. You are intense when it comes to cooking. You, you are. <laughs> you are in there. It's passionate. For I, you, I, I like to focus. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Most definitely. All right, well, we're going to come back here in just a few moments. He's going to put, we're going to continue putting this beer cheese soup together. Folks, I know it's going to taste amazing. We're going to come back here in a minute, but we want to give you the information on the Beetroot. The Beetroot Catering Company is right there on Murphy Street in downtown Mountain City. Give them a call. There's their number. They're also on Facebook as well. <laughs> 